Hi and welcome to this PubMed tutorial. This database is the largest medical database in the world. It contains results from both clinical trials and laboratory studies. It's very useful for engineers, especially medical technicians. The thesaurus terms of PubMed are called MESH terms. If you are Swedish I would first give you the tip of starting your search by going to the website of Karolinska Institutes Library. They have a translated MeSH database that you can search if you don't know the appropriate words for diseases, ailments, etc. in English. You click here on the Swedish MeSH and you can search here. A tip when using PubMed is to have two tabs open, one with the MeSH database and one with PubMed itself. There are two ways of searching PubMed. One is letting the system do all the work and thus getting a result that is as broad as possible. The other is searching it in specific mesh fields. What we lose in recall we gain in precision. As an example I'm going to try to find information on the use of neural networks in the construction of a robotic hand. Let's start with searching the mesh database for artificial intelligence to see if we can find a standardized term for neural networks. Mesh has a hierarchy, so if we look at artificial intelligence, we can see if we can find a narrower term. Here it is, Neural Networks Computer. Let's just copy this and paste it into our search box. Sometimes these parentheses can get in the way of the searches, so I would advise you to get rid of them. If we search the MeSH database for prosthesis, we find that we can click on prosthesis and implants and we can look in this hierarchy to see if we can find something more useful to us. We see that we have artificial limbs. If we look at this, we see it's a leaf on this branch in the hierarchy and it's used for prosthesis arm, arm prosthesis and all of these. So now let's take this and copy it and paste it together with what we already have in the search box. We do one last search and we see that hand is a mesh term. Now we do our search. We get 10 hits and that's quite good. We can see that the system has made a lot of searches here from the terms that we put in. It has tried a number of different combinations of the words. In this case, when we only get 10 hits, that's okay, but sometimes we get thousands of hits because of this. So we also need to know how to limit ourselves to specific fields when we search. If we instead go via the advanced search, we can specify exactly how we want the searches to be conducted. We can also see that we have the search we did earlier here, down in the search history. So now, these are the fields that we can specify that we want to search in. And let's choose the mesh term. We start with Neural Network Computer and we add it to the search box. Here we can either search all the terms at once or we can search them one and one and then combine them in the search history. I will choose the later tactic. Now that I've searched all my terms, to combine them I use the search box up here and I write number 12 and number 13 and number 14 and I press enter. In this case I get one less hit than when the system did its job by itself. Although I now know that all of these results are indexed with the mesh terms that I want. I can go back to my results by clicking here. Let's say that I really want to save this reference. I can go in here and I can either send it as an email to myself I can also send them to a friend or someone I'm just working with. I can also choose to export it as a file. Then we choose Medline we create the file and save it. For more information about this, please view the EndNote tutorial.
Now that I have my results here, I can click on this plus sign to see the publication type and the mesh terms. If you have a large list and in it find a reference that you really think is good, it's a good idea to look at the mesh terms of that reference. Here you can find words that you can use to limit your search. You can also click the link out more resources to view full text. which you can either save to file or print. Now let's recap what we learned. Today we learned what mesh terms are, how to use them in two ways, how to send references via email, how to save a reference in the Medline file format, and last but not least, we learned how to view full text material. If you're having problems, ask at the KTH library, take an information searching course, or visit us at our homepage. Thank you.